guys, this is Grants Tech, and I'm going to be showing you how to boot in single user mode. This can be used on any Mac. It can be used on any operating, any Mac operating system, including Snow Leopard. So, to get started, we go to the Apple logo up here. Whoops. Click the Apple logo. And click Restart. And then, click Restart again. And while you're doing that, you want to hold down the command and S, or Apple S. As you can see, it's on an iMac G4, but it could be used on any Mac-based computer. Here we go. Then you'll see black and white text come up, and now we are logged into the root. So first, what you want to type in, you want to type in slash spin. Sorry, I'm typing with one hand. Spin slash mount space dot hyphen uw, and then once you hit that. Oops, I did that wrong. Sorry. You want, and that it's slash spin slash mount space hyphen uw space slash. And then when you do that, another line should appear like this. Now you want to type in r m space slash var slash db slash sorry there we go slash dot apple set up done apple set up done sorry I made a mistake and then you want to click enter. And then next you type in reboot. Right here. And then click enter. And then it should boot up. What this command does, it deletes an unimportant file and then when it boots up, it's like taking your new Macintosh right out of the box again. It'll show the the startup video and everything. Here we go. See the Mac. And here's the startup video. As you see, I'm running 10.4 Tiger. And then, we'll say welcome. Click continue. I don't have a backup on a firewire, so I will click continue. Select your keyboard. Continue. And then it says, how do you connect? Well, I connect Ethernet. Continue. And then continue again. And then I'm just going to skip this by hitting 
apple Q and then we're gonna click skip okay make an account I'm just gonna name mine my YouTube username Grants Tech password type in your password Okay, I'm going to click continue again. Just say creating your account. Okay, continue. And then it'll say, don't forget to register. Enjoy your Apple computer. Click done. And then we get logged into our account. Okay, here we go. And then, just to show you that this is now an administrator account, I'm going to go to System Preferences. And then I'm going to go to Accounts. Okay, now it says here, admin. So now I am an administrator, which means hold on a second. I can unlock this lock right here by clicking it. and typing in the same password that we did before. And then, there we go. This is how to make a single user account, uh, well, not a single user account, but an administrator account in case you are a limited account, which means you cannot go on anything or make command stuff like terminal or anything like that. Thank you for watching. This is Grants Tech, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.